Well, officials in different states are investigating the possibility of two new cases of coronavirus, including one where the person is believed to have recently returned from Wuhan, China. And that is the suspected epicenter of the virus that has health officials working round the clock to contain it. Sarah Dolliff has the update. As cases of coronavirus continue to climb, the World Health Organization is stopping short of declaring it a global health emergency. Make no mistake, this is though an emergency in China. But it has not yet become a global health emergency. The organization is also not recommending any broad travel restrictions, but in the U.S., the CDC is warning against non-essential travel to China. The government there taking the extraordinary step of sealing off at least three cities, halting flights, trains, and public transit. The virus has now killed at least 17 and sickened more than 600, including a Seattle area man who continues to recover in an isolation unit. Health officials are now monitoring at least 16 people he had close contact with since returning to the U.S. from a trip to visit family in Wuhan last week. A public health worker will call the person um, daily to do a symptom check for them, see if they have a fever, cough, any respiratory um, issues. The CDC working to get ahead of the virus, developing a real-time test for those who show symptoms, including fever, cough, and shortness of breath. The test is currently being performed in CDC Atlanta, and the goal is in the upcoming weeks to be able to distribute that to the public health laboratories. Rapid identification and isolation key, according to officials, to stopping the spread of this mysterious illness.